Hi, my name is Stephen Pritchard, and I'm a journalist and producer. Like many people today, I rely heavily on a laptop to carry out my work. My laptop needs to be robust, it needs to be flexible, it needs to be quick. I also do quite a lot of audio work, including recording podcasts, and that means, ideally, my laptop should be silent too. And one of the big revolutions in the IT industry is replacing the old-fashioned spinning drives, or hard disks, in computers with solid-state storage. Solid state's been expensive, but it's coming down in price. And it's becoming increasingly easy to justify swapping out your standard hard drive for one of these newer, supposedly much faster, much more robust, and much quieter units. So we're going to put that to the test. So before we start, we need four things. One is an upgrade kit, like this one here, which has been provided by Kingston. This is a standard 2.5-inch SATA drive that should fit into the slot in most modern laptops. And this is what the drive itself looks like. Pretty small, it's two and a half inch format. And the connectors on the back there, you can probably just about see it here in the video. Then we're going to take a standard off the shelf laptop, in this case a MacBook Pro. It's just neatly out of warranty, so we're not going to damage anything by replacing its drive. Then, fairly standard. And the other thing you're probably going to need, unless you're very, very dexterous with small things, is a screwdriver like this. Now we're going to use this kit to replace the standard drive in this MacBook Pro. Most modern laptops make it quite easy to swap out the drivers. They use 2.5 inch drives and SATA interfaces. For Apple machines though, you do have to make sure you have the right type of drive. It needs to have something called independent garbage collection, which this particular one we're using for the test does. Also, to make comparison slightly easier, the laptop we're using here has a freshly installed operating system with no additional software. But if you're upgrading your computer and it already has data on it, you'll want to back that up first. If your solid state drive came as part of an upgrade kit, then most likely it'll include software to clone the original hard drive, or you can back your data up to your network or to an ordinary external drive. Before we do upgrade though, we need to see how fast the computer runs with its standard drive. For this test, we're going to run software from Blackmagic Design. Now they produce high-end video equipment for the broadcast industry. This shows not just the speed of the disc, but how well it will perform playing video at different quality settings. An important measure if, like me, you plan to use your laptop to edit video on the move. Now the results here show a read speed of 58 megabytes per second and a write speed of 57.3. Now that's not bad, but will the solid state drive do better? Our next task is to swap out the drives. This is the new drive to go in, just here. There's the original drive that we need to take out. It's a pretty straightforward process. Do make sure you've backed up your data first. It's just removing the retaining bracket there. drive comes free. Watch out, there is a cable connected to the back of it. You can probably just about see that here. In this case, what we need to do is to fit into the corners of the new Kingston solid state drive some little retaining screws that were originally on the Apple drive. So take all those out and refit those before we can fit the drive as well. So if everything's gone according to plan, the new drive should be sitting snugly in the space where you took the old one out. Put the old one aside because you can reuse that and then you're ready to reinstall the operating system. We'll reboot the machine with the new drive in it. So now the operating system's installed, We've formatted the hard drive, which is something you have to do as well, booted the computer up, reinstalled the operating system, and now we've reinstalled the same speed test we ran before. If you remember the results for that, the read speed was 58 megabytes per second and the write speed was 57.3. If you can see that on the screen there, the disk read speed is 210.6 megabytes per second, the write speed is not quite up there, but it's pretty close. So what's the verdict? Fitting the new solid state drive was quite easy. It didn't take more than about half an hour. In fact, it took a lot longer to reformat it and install the operating system again from scratch. I run the performance tests, and as you saw, they are impressive. You also get much faster boot up times, near silent running of your computer, and that robustness that means if you do rely on your laptop for working on the road, Solid state drive is probably a worthwhile investment. From our test, this is a fairly easy upgrade that most people with a bit of computer experience could undertake and will give you a significant performance benefit. Certainly, it's much cheaper than buying a whole new machine. My name is Stephen Pritchard and thank you very much for watching this video review.